everybody welcome back to my channel this is Lisa from Potsy Feather and I'm back today with another eight and a half by 11 scrapbook process video for you I am scrapping a picture of my dog Masha and I think my sister's in the back actually as well and um, I'm using this paper as the paper mat I think I said this before I kind of always border my eight and a half by 11s and I don't quite know why but I do so anyways I'm also using a cut file. I'm, I don't know where it's from. I'm pretty sure it's from Paige Evans, maybe. I don't know. It's just like a, uh, what's that? Like a, uh, I can't think of the word. Oh my goodness. Like a, a leaf wreath, something like that. I don't know. And I did not cut that right. So I have to remove a little more, which was um, quite busy I don't know maybe it's from page ones probably it's um I cut it on some light green cardstock I know there no, my sister's not in the back I have a different picture where she's in the back but anyways um I printed uh I printed I cut this in some like minty green uh cardstock I always pre-cut my um cut files because I I don't know I find it easier um to just um, like mass cut them but yeah so now I'm quickly tearing it uh, down um, as you can see I got out a couple of paper pads I recently went through my paper stash and I just have a lot of paper so I want to use up some uh, of my paper pads because I don't use them I use my 12 by 12s um, like a bit but not my smaller sizes I don't use them like basically at all so um, I kind of want to I don't know use them some a bit more so that's what I'm trying to do currently and yes so now the paper layering starts um, I just used a couple of green papers and the floral um, I'm gonna fussy cut the flowers and um, incorporate them into my wreath so I also have some flowers with my leaves. But mm, a little more um, trimming, and there we go. I wanted to overlap this as, on the layout as well, so that's what I'm trimming now. Oh, Mary's leaving. She's usually sleeping um, next to my feet or by my feet, I guess. Um, but she just left us, so <laughs> it's very late right now. They were already in bed, so I think she's annoyed that I'm talking now. So, <laughs> oh my god, she's just making funny noises. But anyways, I'm just tearing this down at the back. Um, it was just the easiest way to um like so the the wreath stays in place. So now I have this all together, which is great. Um, and now, oh my god, I have so many tapes. Different kinds of tapes there. So now, what a fussy cutting starts. Um, these are very, like, overlapping, which made it a bit tricky to fussy cut. But they're gorgeous, they're like watercolored um, flowers. And I do fussy cut, like, a third, I think, of that paper. Um, I think I do that off camera, or maybe not. Pro no, probably not, but anyways. I'm going to talk about the picture a bit. It's a picture of my dog, uh, Masha, in my sister's garden. And actually my niece took them, or these pictures. I have a, a few of these pictures, but they're, I think all, all of the rest of them are in my project life. And um, this was uh, my sister and my niece looked after my dogs because my mom was going to my sister's and my sister lives in Italy. So she had to fly there and I went with her to the airport. So they looked after the dogs um, for a couple of hours while I was at the airport and my niece sent me like I think 40 pictures or something um, of the dogs. This was in May so the weather was really nice and it was warm and they were mostly out in the garden which is great. So here I can see I just um, fussy cut some of those flowers and I'm gonna do more and more and just you know incorporate them here and there wherever I felt like it 
Um, and I didn't do too much um, because I feel like this, because of the yellow paper and that very busy, like the, um, what is that? The grid background, it's, it's super busy, so I didn't really want to, you know, have like a too much stuff. Oh my god, that flower. There we go. Um, yeah, they didn't really want to stay. And um, this is very glossy paper. And this just did not want to stay. Look at that. It all just slips away. Now I have a lot of glue on my paper, but that's okay. So I think I used fondant. Did I? Maybe. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, this is just some more painter's tape that I tear down the clusters. It's just... Seriously, this is the easiest way for me to just, like, put some tape on there and then it's supposed to stay in place, at least. I think uh, I add one more to that top corner there uh, on the right. I'm not sure I could be wrong. If I do remove the blue one. Yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness. There we go. And I didn't want to waste the blue one, so I just kind of hid it a bit. And some more tape, of course. And then I think I glue everything down. I'm not sure. I think I used some foam tape. Maybe I don't. Nope, I don't. Huh, I thought I would, but anyways. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of glue there, like. But I, with the uh, cut files like these, um, like first of all, my silhouette didn't really cut it perfectly. And there was paper like flying around everywhere, but I don't care about that. I kind of leave it, leave it be, actually. And, um... I don't adhere down the edges because I want them to stick up and add some dimension and interest and stuff like that. This is the Shine On collection by Amy Tangerine and the Craft Cardstock stickers. And I just um, use all of the like leafy stuff and add them all around um, because why not, right? There were quite a few leaves. On that sticker shade. And I'm not sure, maybe I also add a flower, possibly, maybe. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, another one. Would you look at that? And then, what am I doing? I am going to add some washi. I think, <laughs> yeah, I'm adding the, it's from Freckle Fawn, it's like my favorite washi, it's like a wood grain, yeah, uh, a wood grain in rose gold, I think it's like a rose gold copper, I don't know, there, I just added down at the bottom, um, to give, um, my title a bit of a, like a shelf, and uh, I added also that leaf thing, and this is going to be my towel. It's from that sticker sheet. It just says love. But I'm going to get out some white cardstock. This is just an off cut from a cut file I cut out. And I'm going to add that on there. And then I'm going to fussy cut it with a white border. So it stands out um, a bit better. And I also add three hearts from that sticker sheet. Also, I'm cutting it out with a bit of a um, white border. And this really is such an easy way to make your um, sticker or whatever it is um, stand out. It just, it pops off the page, especially a busy page like that. I did that off camera and I um, put it on some foam adhesive. As you can see, I already adhered down the three hearts. Or I'm not sure if I already adhered them down, but I placed them. Uh, and now I'm just going to remove all of the backing and put that on there and yeah or it here down the hearts as well this is super easy um i thought about adding a, like a little um on the other side like on the top 
left corner I thought about adding a strip of washi but I kind of like the empty space even though it's very um, bottom heavy but I like the empty space and there's some splatter so I thought I was okay this is obviously some Heidi Shop color shine in gold and I just splattered it around the title area and the flowers and leaves on my layout and that was it it's obviously still that here so you can um, see it all dried up in the close-ups I really love this layout it was kind of really really quick to do but I really love how it turned out so I hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give me a thumbs up please consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you next time thank you so much for watching bye